Hi guys, welcome back. So this is now my eighth vlog. In this vlog, I'm going to be showing you some more of our study days, including photography and obturation. I also show you how we got our COVID testing done, as well as my COVID vaccination. And also stay tuned to the end where me and one of my colleagues give advice to future dentists. Enjoy. Morning guys, so it is Friday, which means it's a study day and we're about to go and get our COVID swab test. Be patient. <laughs> Morning, Abby. Morning. <laughs> COVID swab test time. Hello. Oh. I'm here for the swab test. Okay, coming to the left. Right, so the day started with us going to get our COVID testing done. This was not a fun experience. Honestly, you're gonna see by my reaction, but I was not enjoying it. This was the first time somebody else had done it for me. And it is just very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> So as you guys can see, that was definitely a very interesting experience. I had to go and treat myself to some food afterwards because I think I deserved it. And then after that, we had our photography study day. So during the photography study day, we all brought in our cameras. So the practice actually provided us with these cameras. They are DSLR cameras, which are top of the range. And those are the cameras you need for dental photography. So we practiced taking a range of shots, including full face and smile shots. Um, it was really good to get hands-on experience with photography because it's something that's getting more and more popular in this day and age because a lot of people want to see their before and afters and it's a really good way to explain things to patients. So as you can see, he's got the smile up on the screen and it's really high quality and it helps with treatment planning as well. So here I am practicing my shots. It does take a lot of concentration to get it right. But in the end, I think I got a lot of good experience and I got the shot. <laughs> Overall, the photography study day was really fun and I learned a lot. Okay, so now moving on to a couple of weeks after where I finally got my COVID vaccination. I was really nervous. I didn't really know what to expect. You know, there was a lot of theories going around. But as healthcare professionals, it's important for us to get it done. So I had to show my ID and fill out some forms and then it was time for the vaccine. I'm just gonna look it's away. It's going to be a quick one, okay? Yeah. Oh, is that it? That's it. Not unless <laughs> oh, no one Not unless one So it wasn't as bad as I thought. Afterwards, I had to go into a room, wait for a little while and I got a sticker. And obviously I had to treat myself to some food afterwards as I always do. Then going on to the Friday where we had our study day. So before our study day, we had to get another COVID test. This time I was a bit better. <laughs> it's just me, don't worry. Okay. So, 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 so,
really learning the little details um, and we were just able to pick off from where we left off last time. So here are the extracted teeth that I practiced on. So I was just getting my measurements ready, um, just making sure that I was at the apex, just double checking. Um, obviously in the mouth you'd want to use an apex locator just to make sure that you're exactly there. And it's really important just to measure it using a 10 file. And after you've measured and made sure that you're at the apex, it's really important to irrigate. So irrigate, irrigate, irrigate. That's the key to endo. Then once that's done, you select your GP point and you match that to your working length. Um, so at this point, I did get a little bit stuck. So I thought I'd get Vish over for some help. <laughs> Do you wonder what's going on? Yeah. How's, how's it going? I'm just matching it up to my point. Yeah. So that's. So you see where I crimped it? That's 18.5. Yeah. Okay. So it's. So show me your gauging point. So take that. And show yeah. Me your gauging so I started off with the 10, just to. Eight and three. Okay. You don't have to do it. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think I went straight to. I've got 25. Okay. Um. And then I mesh, no, no, I put it down to where it should be. Well, yeah, right? Yeah, right. here. Just, and I measured that and that was 18.5. Yeah. And I tapped it. Tap it on. Tap it on. <laughs> and what's that? Nice. It kind of so, goes through. Yeah. So then I've got the 30. Next. Yeah, so then get the 30. Nice. Then measure that. I yeah. think that's already 18.5. Okay. Measure it to 18.5, yeah. the working length. Yeah. And then. Same, repeat. Yeah. And Let's do you under your gun on the right track, loving it. Tap and that's stable. Right. Nice. Yeah. Okay. This stage, right? Let's do it together. Okay. Get a twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. 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 Take it in until the point I would oh. do it. It's okay, carry on. You expected this, isn't it? I expected yeah, this. Okay. Carry on. Carry yeah, on. Yeah, carry yeah, on. Yeah. Carry on. Now, we're adjacent to your reference point. Crimp it now. So where is your reference point? This cusp. So what I want to do is, because if you crimp it like this, right? If you crimp it there, that's below your reference point, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Whereas if you crimp it like this, it's like just about. It's just yeah. at your reference point, isn't it? Yeah. Does that make sense? But isn't that over extruded now? Do, do it. Do, do, work with. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> work with me with the process. Do okay. It. We'll do it together. Go on. All right. So. You're, 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 so you're in the mouth. Do you remember how I told you to crimp it? We're using your cusp as a guide. Oh, so that way. That's it. Crimp it tight. Yeah, you should be touching the cusp. Crimp it tight, tight, tight. Yeah. All right. Take it out. Measure it. So it's like 22. Yeah, and what's your work in it? 18.5. So how much do you need to snip off of that to get it to uh, now? Four millimeters? Yeah. So I actually cut with a scalpel. Yeah. So. so after Vish's very helpful explanation, I was back on track. So you can see I'm using the scalpel to trim off the excess on the GP points and then getting it exactly to length. So here we are, I'm using the collateral condensation technique, using my finger spreader to get the rest of the GP points in. Once they're all in, it's then time to trim away the excess. So you can this angle, like that, and then right over, I'm going to do it. Right over. Is it slow mo? It was slow mo, yeah. And if you feel it, it's going to go up and down. You're going to be right in there. Oh my, that's sick. You're going to have to send me this. <laughs> it looks like it's going to go down. Up. You really <laughs> <know it's laughs> yeah, so it'll be cool when it comes out, right? Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so we've just finished a study day. This is Jacob. <laughs> um, so today... <laughs> 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 
we're back. <laughs> had a bit of a fall. <laughs> um, but yeah, so today we had an obturation study day. And how did you find it? I enjoyed it. Um, I learned that you can cut, that you cut the GP. Oh yeah, 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 from the end. So. Yeah. yeah, always early things. Hashtag custom GP. Yeah. <laughs> so basically what this custom GP point is, you have to sort of cut it from the end to match the apical constriction. It's hard to describe, but it was really good because it's something that we don't often do. Um, all in all, I thought it was really good. Learned a lot. I, I find that the study days during foundation training, they are really good. They get really good people in to come and teach us. And yeah. I think fish and iron are probably the best thing we get. Yeah. I, I, yeah. They're so friendly. Hundred percent. Like they're very like approachable. <laughs> Mandy is just there sleeping in the background. <laughs> when he sees this, <laughs> he's gonna be <laughs> clearly he enjoyed it a lot as well. <laughs> it was that it was that full on, he's so tired. But no, I think yeah, like Jacob said, fish and iron were really good and we're able to get away and I can't take him seriously like that. But yeah guys, um, yeah. Anything else, Jacob? Um, no, just, just enjoy dentistry. Enjoy dentistry. Uh, foundation training at the moment. It's picked up for a lot of us. Um, at first it was a bit slow, so I had a bit more time to vlog and stuff. But now we've, we're kind of pushed to try and get up because we have to get targets for foundation training as well. So I'm just trying to do that at the moment. So if you're still in uni, you've got all of this to look forward to. But would you say it's enjoyable so far? Yeah, I yeah. really, I'm, it, it is stressful. Mm -hmm. um, we've got audits that need to be done for next week. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm going back to my practice to complete some of those. Yeah, so am I. Uh, uh, but it is worth it. It's um, worth it. So worth it. Yeah. All right, guys, catch up with you later. Bye.